Hey, my name is Sunshine and I love puzzles. If I'm not crocheting, I'm doing puzzles. So I've done enough puzzles. I feel like I can give an honest review about Buffalo Games puzzles. I think it's Buffalo Games. I don't know. Um, I love, love their puzzles. Um, I do, let me show you mostly what I do. Thousand pieces. And I do a lot, let's see, a lot of um, Charles Wasaki, Wysocki. I love his puzzles. They're beautiful Americana scenes. And it's just smooth sailing with them. The pieces are great quality. They snap together perfectly. Just a beautiful, beautiful puzzles. Um, when you open your box, right on top, and this is what I love. I love this part. Right on top is a poster. Now, I could never figure out why I needed a poster in these puzzles. But now I'm glad I do. Because I hang it above my puzzle workstation. Um, I clip it to my curtains, actually. And I use um, quilter's clips. You can use binder clips, too. Binder clips work fine. But I, I um, clip it over my workstation. And, uh, oh, come on. That way, I can see the puzzle. Now, let me... So, I enjoy this because the box is image is perfect okay but it's a little small at times when you're looking for that one certain piece so i love 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 the posters now for me personally i love to log the puzzles i do because eventually my my main goal my end goal is to do every one of his puzzles charles wasaki's puzzles thousand pieces so I have a log book and I keep, hold on, my hands are not working today. It happens sometimes. Come on. I keep every puzzle I do in this book. And I, each puzzle, I'm still getting used to the camera, has a number. And I put that number down. Now, it probably would work better in an Excel sheet. But, um, honestly, I don't care to do it that way. Because I have no way to print it or anything. So, I, like I said, I just get a regular old journal from Walmart. The kind that lay flat. Because the other kind drive me crazy. And, to go with that, I got a binder with sheet protector sheets. And I save, um, I save every poster. Sorry, guys, I'm just, uh, this is not working. But I save every poster that I do. I want to have that logged in my thing. And I know you're probably thinking, well, what are you going to do when you give it to the next person? Keep it in the log like that. The answer is simple. Every puzzle that I do gets glued and taped around the edges on the back side. And then I put them I, I put them in a certain spot where they lay flat. And then I put them on the walls. Um, it's a great, great, I love it. I love it. And I put the puzzles together with good old school glue. Now, they make puzzle glue, but I'm a cheap one. I, I don't see any reason for puzzle glue when Elmer's glue works just as fine, just as fine. And I found this at Michael's. It looks like it's a, oh, it's a, called a plastic corrugated sheet. It looks like the kind where you put the sign on it. And it's 20 by 30 inches. And I got it for like 4 or $5. I put my puzzle 
I assembled my puzzle on that sheet because these puzzles are big enough that I can get my hands across the top, but I like to be able to do the bottom. For me personally, I do the bottom and then I turn it and do the upside down and do the sky part. That works for me. But I, I love, love Buffalo's uh, games and puzzles. Um, they are an amazing company. And um, they have been really good about if I'm missing a poster. Um, because I do buy my puzzles second hand. Um, some of them are brand new that I've done. But some of them are second hand thrift store puzzles. And if it's missing a poster, I fill out the required form and um, they send me a poster, replacement poster. It's a fantastic company. Uh, just, I cannot sing their praises enough. And I really enjoy doing their puzzles. So, um, I think I covered everything that I would cover. Um, but I just love that Americana look. I really, really do. Now, I did a puzzle the other day that was not Charles. Um, I, I don't know who it technically belonged to, but it's a thousand piece and it's a quilt puzzle. So if there's a quilt puzzle or any of any brand, I usually grab it. That one was sent to me and it was a thousand pieces of, of oversized pieces. I really, really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed that. And um, so if, if it's got a quilt theme on it or whatever, and it's not Charles Wostocki, then I'll still grab it because I love quilting. I used to quilt a lot. And now I just mainly crochet and puzzles. But anyway, that is what I got. And uh, if you haven't checked them out, please do. I highly recommend this video is not sponsored. I'm not sponsored by any means that's why i can give an honest review i feel like when you are sponsored you kind of have to do a kit glove review and I, i'm not about that so anyway thank y'all so much for joining me and i hope you get out there and get you some puzzles take care